It's pretty easy to think of yourself as a space traveler. Many of us view ourselves as potential astronauts or as scientists in space. Space is very much about the experience. It's about the human endeavor. It's about the human participant. It's about the human mind finding itself in a strange new world. Watching that first space launch carrying your experiment is so exciting. And I'm thinking when I watch them go, we're gonna be on that series of rockets going to distant places. So the first time that we had an opportunity to look at all of those plants that had grown up on all of those samples from the moon gave us chills. We were watching things, A, that had never been seen before, and B, that proved that life could live somewhere else. The sound to me is the best part of watching a launch, is feeling that vibration come at you and knowing that you are helping the space program go a little bit forward. It's very rewarding to be then able to come back into our research lab and get right back to the areas of research that are gonna help support human exploration of the solar system. Florida's and America's road to the moon doesn't begin here, it begins here. It begins in the mind, the heart, the conscience, the ambitions and the strengths of young people. The University of Florida had a very strong relationship with both the operations and the science at Kennedy Space Center since the very early launches. You come here and there's so many gators here and you, you see them everywhere and you instantly form bonds. It's sort of a fraternity, you know, part of the space program, part of the University of Florida. It's, it's go gators everywhere you go. So the Space Institute is a grand plan for unifying, celebrating, and enhancing the space research that occurs here. The University of Florida is just really beautifully and strategically placed to be a leader. The proximity that the Space Life Science Lab has is unprecedented. And we can get our science to space faster. We can get more science to space than any other university. Because we have all of the institutions that we have here at the University of Florida, we're able to take the entire science ecosystem and think about it all from a space perspective, from space law and policy to human exploration to building the instruments that can probe deep space. We can do it all here at the University of Florida. To be able to tap into that at any point and find a collaborator in physics or in engineering or in biosciences, I mean, we have it at the University of Florida. Our goal is to position the University of Florida and our faculty members and our students straight in the path all the large opportunities that are going to come in the space business in the coming years. I don't see us ever going downhill. The space program is only going up. Everybody's moving here. Everybody wants to be in Florida. They want to be on the Space Coast. This is the place to be. This is a hot spot for interactions between both government industry and university partners where we can synergize, build on the past research to help us take advantage and expand into this new space economy that's growing extremely fast in today's climate. There are going to be more people, more technologies, and more commerce done in space in the next 10 years than there have been in the last 50. That is the exciting thing about taking the science that we do here at the University of Florida and enabling and enhancing that step function change where people are going to be doing things in space in common everyday terms that in the past would have been impossible.